Hello everyone! Vendris here and we were waiting, we were waiting and it happened. The throne saw delay is not delayed anymore, I hope at least. Uh, we just saw the trailer, the throne of DK, the new DLC for Total War Warhammer 3. And I have to say up front, it's looking very good. The trailer at least, yeah. It's quite different than trailers that we had previously. I personally like what the trailers have a story. There's like a big battle here, as you can see. Uh, and let's go with most important information. I won't go much into the detail because there are many people on YouTube that do it way better. I really encourage you to check the uh, channel by Nathan, the Great Book of Ogres, because he's very good at those lore stuff and he also like ogres. So I assume people that like ogres knew stuff. So yeah, let's, let's hoop in to the basic information of the DLC. Uh, what is quite important right now, we don't have a release date, but I assume that the, the release will be at the end of the month. This most likely is because of the Shadows of Change stuff we had, uh, and there was like a pre-order, information to pre-order it was actually everywhere. Now you just have a wish list, and I assume the release date will be like a week uh, before it announced, or maybe days, yeah? So we can focus on the materials that we'll be getting and not just buying it. So let's talk about the basics. We are getting three legendary lords, so for Nurgle, Empire and the Dwarves, and uh, for uh, Nurgle it's uh, Tamokan, for Empire it's Elzabeth von Draken, if I didn't butcher the name, and Malachi Makison for the Dwarves. And the thing, the first thing that I really like with this trailer, with this DLC, that it have its own personality and a direction. I talked about it many times, uh, especially in Shadows of Change. Like Shadows of Change had zero direction. It was all over the place. It's way different here and I'm just extremely happy. Yeah, because we are now getting uh, specific units for a specific faction that have a specific theme. So going through the uh, one by one, Empire One is all about Gunpowder. Many units that were in the mods, and SFO included, of course, but they are looking very good. We have new Steam Tank version, Null Ironsides, Hohl and Long Railways, Knights of the Black Rose, uh, and also Master Engineer and Engineer Heroes, Lord and Hero variants. Very, very, very cool. And also Legendary Hero Theodore Brackna. Again, as I'm saying, very good. In terms of direction and of course I, f I forgot that <laughs> Marion Brook launched it because there is you know every faction needs to have one single entity unit right now but it's very thematic Marion Brook Landship is like a, a gunpowder platform but like a tank let's call it so it's I I think it's interesting it's it's looking very good and <laughs> as you can hear I'm quite excited about it because it's looking good it's like the units are actually looking good with the shadows of exchange we all know how Shadow of Change was looking, even with the additions, not the best DLC, not the best content, but yeah, this is looking actually very, very good. And Elsbeth uh, herself is on a dragon, she's a mage. Not much we know about the mechanics just yet, so I won't be talking about them, but let's move to the another one. So Nurgle, 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 Nurgle. A faction that have tons of problems, but looks like we're getting something interesting here, because we have the legendary hero that's like Kaisk the Befallet. But sharing those names is my thing right now. A Chaos Lord of Nurgul and Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgul. Quite interesting Plague Ogres. Eh, you know my opinion. Rot Knights, uh, they are looking very nice. Give me some Work Riders from Lords of the Rings vibes, but looking good. Toad Dragon, so Link to Temakan. Pestigors, I hope a better model than Xanagors, but at least that's how it's looking from the uh, cards, uh, the unit cards that leaked, and the Bile Trolls also looking quite interesting. And again, very thematic, uh, everything about a monster, Plague, because it's normal, I like it. I, I really like it. But let's go to the Dwarf, because for me, the Dwarf one is looking the best, yeah? The, the Malachi is our new... Legendary Lord, but we have also Legendary Hero, the Garagrim Iron First. The first Legendary Hero that was made for SFO over five years ago for Total War Hammer 2. <laughs> I'm quite excited to see him 
actually made in the game because CA is very good at doing such stuff. So, and also we have a Demon Slayer Lord and Dragon Slayer Hero. Again, very, very thematic. I like the idea. Dwarves need more characters, so it's very good. We have Doom Seekers, Goblin Hero, so this catapult that is throwing access. <laughs> very cool unit. Thunderbird. Uh, excellent mod by Chaos Ruby now getting into the game in the trailer at least that Thunder back is looking really awesome and Groot Raker Thunderers again as a full stuff but I'm happy that they are adding those and Slayer Pirates uh, again some units uh, linked to the Slayers and other stuff what can I say more trailer is looking good I'm excited uh, I really hope that this is the moment that we will all be able to get back to the total war and be happy about the content but as always we shall see about it looks like that the content creators that have access will be releasing uh, content about it the next week at least that that's what they are saying from the video so i will be uh, also covering it from the news official ones because i don't have that access but i'm really eager to hear what do you think about the trailer are you excited about it because for me yeah in terms of units at least it's looking very good I really hope that the mechanics will also be good and this DLC even uh, right now is looking way better than uh, Shadows of Change and at least from uh, everyone can hear uh, there will be actual faction reworks for the Nurgle Empire and Dwarfs so I am also excited because those factions really lack a proper direction in their campaign so <laughs> saying again good 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 news and uh, i will be saying this thousands of times in this video but yeah it's looking very 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 interesting i'm eager to know more and i really like the idea that she is going right now to be more fame uh, you know like more light advertisement not like buy it now do it and so on and so on so uh, we also going to have some other uh, free content for the Nurgle from what I saw and also getting a new mod Nemesis uh, crown that will be released with the update and of course update uh, 5.0 yeah 5.0 improvement bug fixes and free content and I hope those reworks that uh, every, that content creators spoke about are really really good because we need good news for Total War, <laughs> saying, and um, according to my last video that I was asking you, uh, do we need, uh, do we even need Thrones of Decay? And my answer here right now to the previous video, we don't need, we don't want uh, Thrones of Decay. We need it. We really need it as as a DLC, as as a moment that really turns the tides, and we'll be happily going back to Total War talking about the new content and just having fun and just having fun my only big my maybe minor complaint right now <laughs> looking in the trailer is that the price could be a bit lower still i i think that the price could be lower but yeah that's my opinion uh, my question is what do you think about it and uh, yeah let's wait for them for more news the fronts of decay are looking very interesting and i'm really hope for it uh, I, of course, want to be a bit more tamed, to not be disappointed, but it's looking very good so far. Okay, I'm out. Vengeance, I'm out. Remember to feed the YouTube algorithm and have a nice day. See you!